Greetings and welcome to Fuga Melodies of Steel. Now, although I've been playing this game only for Saturday, since I completed it in the last session, I decided that uh, before the lead up to the next game, that I was going to do what I set to do a while back ago, which is to read the comics that I have gathered while doing my initial playthrough and just read them and maybe read one or two pages every so often so these will be kind of short-ish uh, videos leading up to the second video game but I didn't really have anything better to do in terms of my second upload I was kind of struggling for a while to figure out what I wanted and I figured oh yeah I forgot that I had mentioned that I wanted to read the comics so with that being said uh, enjoy the rest of the video. There will be some gameplay here every so often, but we'll also show the, uh, the comics as well. The Adventures of Sacre, Episode 1. Ah, the Seventa de Sacre. Well, oh, I completely butchered that, but okay. There's the Sacre, Vanishing Key Arc. Sacre, a courageous 15-year-old boy with a sense of justice. When push comes to shove, his wit is his weapon. Kamea, Sakura's buddy and female pet owl that understands spoken language, doesn't it? Miela, Sacre's livelihood child friend. Livelihood? That's a... That's one heck of a thing to save for me there, brain. Okay, lively childhood friend. She tends to be a little too helpful. The doctor. Yeah. The doctor is in! And then the doctor is out. References? Yeah. An oddball inventor. He creates some amazing inventions even though they usually break right away. Inspector Kafai? Or Kaif? Kefi? Oshogana? Friend of Sakre's father, whereabouts unknown. Who understands Sacre well. Hmm. Is he now? Okay. Madame Sam. Hmm. Might need to blur that out, editor. Yeah. We cannot have her be called Adam. Because, uh, you know, they're portraying her as the woman in distress and all that nonsense. We don't want her to be the Adam woman. Anyways. Widow of an antique dealer. Hmm. Professor Burry. Previously an archaeology professor, he was banished from the Academy Society after his fraud was discovered. Money grubber. Count Novellion. Mysterious man in a mask, he persuades Professor Burry to come along and steal treasure. So, that makes Burry the henchman, basically? The second in command? To the mastermind. All right. Adventures of Sacre, Episode One. Research Institute, the Fountain of Innovation. Bruh, I've got this watch. Do you know? Whoa, -ho. my small size radio prototype is complete. Small size radio type. Thanks, I guess. The vanishing incident at the. Memore Mine. Incidents of livestock and property suddenly disappearing continues. Doctor, that's awesome! Livestock is disappearing! I don't think that's the good thing, but whatever to you, child. You can finally hear the news now. It's nice and small, perfect to carry around. It gets hot quickly, so it needs some improvement. Hopefully it won't explode again, right? Yeah, it exploded. Hmm. Scrat! Bruh. Bruh, I thought that was an owl, but apparently it's just a parrot. Yeah. Knocking? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Inspector Kafai. 
Ugh, I knew you'd be here, Sakrae. And who is this? No one. There's nobody else but me here. I can clearly see the umbrella being held by another pair of paws behind you. Little whippersnapper, excuse me, I brought you a client. Hello, pleased to meet you. My name is Asim. My dearly departed husband was an antique dealer. Yeah, we already went over this in the, you know, the prologue, introducing all the characters. I don't know why you had to announce it, but okay. You know what? You can shut up, old man. Ouch. While going through your husband's personal effects, she apparently found something strange. But I'm not going to tell you, so uh, later. I thought maybe this would be a good job for you. We'll have to get back to work. Excuse me. Okay, Inspector. Leave it to me. Uh, the Inspector's useless. You're telling me. The strange thing I found looks like a screw. Really? Really now? And it came with this message. A bejeweled screw? I wouldn't really call it a screw at that point then, because if you cover the head of it, you can't put any tool into the screw to be able to actually twist the screw in or out of the socket that it's supposed to go into. Ergo, you're dumb. Anyways. Can you say a message? Oh my. To be continued. Really? That's how it's going to end? Uh, okay. Uh, on to the next one. Adventures of Sacre, Episode 2. Which, I don't know why it would be considered Episode 2. It, episode 1 didn't really end properly. But okay. Return this to Lemore. If the gate opens, the world will disappear. Lemore? I think you're saying that wrong. I think it's Lemire. Either way, it's definitely not English, and we're both dumb. And I'm just gonna say you're more dumb because you're younger than me. Excuse me? That's where that fantasy incident happened recently. Oh, how convenient. Yes, how convenient indeed. Yes, I couldn't imagine it not related and got scared. What do you think? I'll check it out. You'll come with me, won't you, Miela? Yes, of course. Uh, I'd worry if you went alone. Bruh, I don't worry at all. Please don't come back into my office. You've ruined everything. You're the one that makes devices that explode there, old man. If you're set on going, you should take this radio with you. Well, Brown expect a full report on it before it when you get back. Um, I don't know if I really want to be taking this, Doctor, because the last one exploded. If this one explodes, I'm going to have to sue you for, uh, damages, probable costs, and all that nonsense. Bleh. Robert sure you saw the leak whatever. Excuse me? Uh, sure thing, Doctor. Uh, I've got to hurry up and pack up. Meanwhile, elsewhere. I see. So, the next treasure is Lemire, Count Novell. Speaking of Lemire, isn't that where the vanishing incident happened? I'm sure that troublesome boy will be getting in the way. If we don't hurry, he'll get there before us. We must get the gate key, Professor Burry. Of course. If you would assist me, that is. I will not. You are my henchman. You do as I say. When I say it, exactly how I say it. Uh. What kind of business deal did I get into? <laughs> the worst kind. Idiot. Hmm. By whatever means necessary, yes. Leave everything to me. <laughs> to be continued. Adventures of Sacre, Episode 3. Yeah. 
Frey and Milea, along with Krima, or Krima, arrived in the Mior. Hmm. Did they know? Hmm. Their map looks very familiar to a map that I know. Madame Azam should be here, but... Maybe she's late. Let me ask. It's okay. It looks like there's a letter here for you. Oh, how convenient. And uh, the person that you were supposed to ask didn't say anything. Interesting. How convenient. You know what? Just shut up and take the letter. Yeah, for me? That's strange. I can't believe it. I mean, you should. But whatever to you, man. Madame Azam's been abducted. Oh, great. She's the Dandel in distress. Of course she is. Wow. Couldn't think of a different plot, huh? Shut up, girl. You're just a sidekick. Oh, I see how it is. Huh, what do you mean? I mean, what do you think what do I mean? She'd been kidnapped. Okay, that... You don't have to be rude about it. It says, bring the screw to the Mont Lemure cave. Or La Lemuri. Probably Lemuri. Actually, now that I think about it, it probably is Lemuri. Man, I've been saying it terrible this whole time. Whatever. And exchange it for the life of the lady. Who could have done such a thing? Scrat! I mean, an evil person could have done it. What do you think? That's paw writing. It's gotta be the professor. Professor who? Well, it's not the doctor. Doctor who? Uh, whatever. Wait, that old guy is at it again? Again, you say? Well, yeah, we're supposed to assume that we've been fighting him this whole time. You know, it's just kind of how comic books and story works anyways. Not my storybook. Link in the description below. What? We gotta hurry. Madame Azam is in danger. To be continued. And that concludes the reading of The Legend of Sacre. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. Take care. And we'll see you in the next session.